Hold on. Good morning. Good morning. We have three days and a wake up before the contest at the East Coast Championship. Everybody's excited as you can see. Mm-hmm. How are you? Are you excited? I am. I'm right now I'm just trying to tie my top on and uh trying to choose which suits that I'm gonna wear and I'm just about uh decided I think it's gonna be this one. I have a blue one also. Um but I don't think I'll be wearing that and these guys are crushing all my paperwork for the show. Sabotagers. Yeah. Sabotage. Yeah. Anyway. Um, but this is basically my bag. It's a big mess over here and the reason that it's such a mess oh, yeah. is because I'm trying to organize all of my uh, fitness bag to go with me. This is a prop that's going with me. This is also a prop. Is that your, your night mask? Me. That's, yeah. Like people put a mud mask on that's your My mask. little chair to sit down at the show. Oh, smart. Get and off the lake. see, this in here is my, uh, my bag of jewelry. You can't lose that. Is that your bling bling stuff? It's my bling bling. It matches my suit perfectly. See? Matches perfectly. And uh, by no, um, by coincidence, because I had this jewelry for a very long time, so it must have been meant to be that I got this suit to go with it. Absolutely. Um, I uh, keep a lot of other things in my bag. See, something that a figure girl can never go without. Bikini bite. Bikini bite fastens your suit. It's like a glue fastens your suit down and starts. Will that glue your cheeks together? <laughs> yeah, maybe if you need no, it. No, actually, uh, it helps keep the material to your butt so you don't get a yep. a wedge, right? Yes. And then, especially up the top, if you needed it to, you know. What, what else you got there now? Now this is uh, called muscle juice. And Use what, that for the beach or what? Yeah. What this does is this um, gives me definition. It's like an oil. And you put a light sheen to your skin the day of the show. What's a sheen? It's sheen means shine and shimmer. You don't want to look like you're you're gleaming out there too oily, but just a nice healthy glow. So a sheen, not a shine. Right. And then of so course, you don't need 3D glasses. my tanning product, this is a spray-on tan. It's called uh, ProTan, which is what most of the competitors use. Or we have another product, it's called Dream Tan. I use the ProTan and the Dream Tan. Now I have to clean this bag out. This is from last year. This was... Part of my prop from last year, see, I was the devil with the blue dress, but I didn't wear this suit. I had a different suit. And bear with me, this room is a mess, but that's because I'm getting ready for my show. I was deciding whether or not to wear this suit or the purple. This is my suit from last year. Very pretty. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, that's nice there. But I like their bottoms are a whole different cut. Even though it looks similar, the bottoms are a different cut. They're more narrow. So it gives you like a, yeah, a plum suit, butt, like a pear butt. Right. And this suit, I like the More shape like apple that, butt, maybe? Right. This suit gives me a better more shape. More lift, it looks like. More lift. So right, you got to wash so. it, just because that's a beautiful color, but maybe I could be, although you're going to use that for a stage, right. use it for practice. Right. Or this will be my spare Backup. suit. So or if someone something. needs one there or whatever. Exactly. So here, put this happens. one. That's like the spare tire. I have to clean out this bag, suit. like I said, to make room. These are my shoes. Yeah. They're a little beat up because I had worn them previously, but that's okay because they have experience right. on the stage. See, that's a, an idea right there. You could get that, your extra mm -hmm. suit, extra when you get... Well, not only that, but you, you have to have... Now, again, by coincidence, years ago, these are really old, but in case something happens to those shoes, mm -hmm. I have a spare pair of clear heels. I always have a spare pair of everything because that day, even the suit, I said, you know, it's very easy for these clips that these hooks are attached to to snap. So what I'll do is take some safety pins with me just in case this pops. What are you supposed to do that day? No one has a sewing kit. So if you have safety pins, buys your safety. So we'll organize this bag better. But for now, we'll take a look at me. Okay, good. Ready? Yeah. Go. I, uh, you, come, you just filter off from the back. You're on stage. This is where we're checking you out. The, the judges will be checking you out. They're checking your. And remember, there's a judge over here. There's, there's different judges, so sometimes there's ten, nine of them. That's right. Quarter turn to your right. Quarter turn to your right, please. 
quarter turn to your right. Now she's she's squeezing, but in a uh, elegant way. Yes, you want to look like you're squeezing, but not really. Like good, quarter turn to your right. And the hair is important. If you have a lot of hair and you have nice hair, beautiful hair, it's fine to show that. Yeah, but actually, don't cover like up. Don't let it cover up your body, though. No. Move it out of the way right, when you do exactly. your back pose. When I do my back, you have oh, to. Oh, take your time and get set. Move it out of the way if you have to, because you want to see the, you want to see your definition. Right, and also today is going to be my hair day because my roots are crazy well, and it's be not even some been a month. roots girl you better take care <laughs> of those too fast and then besides that um nails i'm going to keep my uh my natural nails and just do french manicure yeah. toes french manicure they're they're french manicured now but they need to be redone uh all that stuff's going to come together in the next couple days so just to keep updated i'll keep you updated and i think that i'm just about there with my uh my weight yeah, you look good. Um, so now it's just my last day of depletion. And what is depletion? Depletion is very low carbohydrate and a high protein intake and a lot of water. Um, by tomorrow, I'll be starting my carb up phase. So we'll explain what carb up is later on. So check me out later. I'm going to do my hair. And I'll show you a little bit of that process. And to save money, because I am a hairdresser, I uh, have 15 years experience, so in the beginning I started doing my own hair and I learned how to foil my hair very well, so I'll be foiling, just retouching everything and yeah, save myself another hundred dollars. So ladies, very easy to get into this competition with minimal cost, so let's check me out. Bye bye. going on today guys it's what's going on here is we got I think four days in a wake up for the East Coast Championships I'm down to my I uh, can't say ideal weight but contest weight but I'm 10 pounds lighter 10 or 12 pounds lighter than last year when I placed I think I placed fifth so this year we'll see what happens and Lana you're ready to go too. You lost what, 17 pounds total? No, uh, about 20. About 20. Yeah. So today's the last day of depletion. I depleted my carb and calorie to like boiled chicken and uh, broccoli, fibrous carbs, which is the broccoli, asparagus, and uh, I did that Sunday, Monday, and today's Tuesday, and tonight will be. I'll introduce some complex carbs into my body tonight, like a bowl of rice. White or, uh, white or brown, you would probably think. I would go with a half white, half brown to get the insulin levels kicking. Today I'm flat, but that's what's going on. Flat and ripped. Yeah. No, I look okay. But I didn't fill out yet. That's the strategy. You should be flat today. I call it flat. See what happens. I feel good, although I had really low calories for the last three days. I'm not dizzy or anything, so what I did take in is a few almonds, because that controls your blood sugar. Not roasted almonds, raw, dry almonds. Yeah, so stay tuned. I'll see you at the show. Hi, everyone. I'm with Lana, and today is Tuesday. She has her USBF figure contest that she's going to be in at State College, the East Coast Championship. She's trying to get her um, pro card. Who isn't? But she's really trying. This is her like fifth year. So we're going to see what happens. Mm -hmm. All 100 pounds of you, right? 
So what are you doing today? Okay, so today has to be my hair day. As you can see, my roots are thoroughly grown in. And amazingly enough, it must be all the good protein I've been eating because it hasn't even been a full month yet, and this is what I have. Usually you get a half a regrowth a month. I look like I'm about an inch. So, protein, ladies, protein does make the hair grow. That's what your hair is made up of. So, what I have here is... We have a rat tail comb with the wire end. It makes for good sectioning. I have my, I use a bleach lightener because my hair is dark. And what I'm going to do is just retouch my roots and give myself a little shimmer and brightening up. So what I'll be doing is mixing it with my developer. And a long time ago, someone gave me these. I love them. It's actually highlight wrap paper, which is pretty cool. Box is older than dirt, but they still work. They serve the same purpose. Are they still available? I believe they are, yes. They are still available at your uh, beauty oh, supply. What's this over here? You said your, um, what's that, your moistener? No, the big bottle. What's this that? is my developer. This goes in with this and activates and makes the color oh, work like in the, the like hair. Oh, like a chemist. Yes. Is it so, going to sizzle like a witch's brew? <laughs> for Maybe if you have some bad chemicals in your hair. So as you can see, I need a good one. So... What I do is, amazingly, you know, here everyone's out spending hundreds of dollars on their hair and yep, nails. Know. And How much I'm did you spend? Try to do this as cheaply as possible. See, it's not, I have a lot of different skills. It's not just fitness and nutrition, but I've also done hair for an extensive amount of years. So now I'm going to use it to my advantage. Awesome. And just take a clean line and I'll just put the first foil in and then you'll be able to see the finished results. Is that illegal for you to do your own hair? I don't think so. Because people like <laughs> illegal things. They like to watch things that are, you know, if it's it illegal you'll if get... you don't know what you're doing... You get more people watching if, some, if it's bad. I'll tell you what's bad. It's only bad if you don't know what you're doing. You should always seek a professional because what can happen is you'll follow what I'm doing Maybe use a different product that you bought for 99 cents on the shelf in the store mm -hmm. and your hair is going to turn orange or fall out. So mm -hmm. I am a hairdresser, so always seek professional assistance when doing such a thing. But I'm going to show you what it takes to get prepped. See, it's not just about the posing and, of course, it all has to do with uh, your physique and your presentation that day. But your hair is also part of that and so is your makeup your nails and I'll be teaching you all about those things. Some people have acrylic nails. I choose to have, um, I think I'm just going to go with my natural but I may just go with uh, stick-on and they have new stick-on nails I'll be showing you that actually stay on for about a whole week. So it's pretty cool. But as you can see my roots are way grown out here. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is just, oh well we have to mix. See I'm talking and I'm not mixing. Give it a little shake. And normally you can measure, but because I've been doing hair so long that I kind of just know the consistency. Uh, but I always follow manufacturer directions. Is that good for all blondes? Uh, it depends. You'd want to seek professional advice. This is good. Yeah, professional advice. Yes. It, I can't you recommend you to do something that your hairdresser or professional uh, hairstylist would otherwise prefer you not to do. But I'm showing you what I do. Uh, so, well, some people can get you, away with you hair have, color. Um, your sidekick, she wants hers done as well wow. for the show. What Are you going to what round? The figure? Oh, she's not talking. Oh, the bikini round. See, I'm sorry. It's the bikini round. So, you're going into the, the USBF um, East Coast... Mm -hmm. Open and open figure class, right? Open, yes, and novice. And who are you? Oh, that's your trainer there. That's my trainer. Down here. One of my trainers, I have. And she's made. going in to what? The bikini. Oh, she don't want to talk now. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I'm doing here. See, this is called a weave. Mm -hmm. I'm weaving this out. So what that means is that this section of hair will be the hair that gets colored. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. 
A lot of people have different styles of doing this. I'm just going to show you the first one so you get the idea. And a lot That's of people can't hard. believe I do my own. I actually have a whole segment on the internet already of me doing pretty much my whole head. Now, what is that? A special paper, right? You can't just use, like, I have grape leaves out in the back. Can I use some grape leaves for well, emergency? Well, like if I had for to. everything, I guess. Like, say, you know, I had some long, I had some, like, banging hair, and, you know. Yeah. Could There's I use a first a grape for leaf? everything, but I, I, I don't know if I'd recommend that. So, that's okay. all. We're just touching the new, the new growth. Like, what if you ran out? We're going to sweep this out of the way and just go and paste this. Oh. You probably have to use two leaves, like a sandwich style. Maybe. Yeah, like what if you ran out like three sections? What are you going to do? And the place was closed. It's a scenario. It's 930. Right. You have a hot date at uh. Well, then I would recommend don't do it until um, you get the right equipment to do it. Now, no, what I'm if you just going to take some... I'm going to take a diagonal section here. And I'll work off this and do some weaves. As you can see, this really got dark underneath, too. So I'm going to go ahead and do those things, and uh, we'll catch back up in a little while. Oh, don't go. The, the girl was just learning, and that's my <laughs> friend. They're like, oh, my God, now you're going to go. Show us one more thing, at least. Okay. It's just I'll starting to get you. good here. Okay, I'll show you one more. Because, you know, I'm... Let's resection this. What's that? Yeah. They didn't get that one. They did, but, you know, you got to watch it one more. It's like if you, seen, if you see Bigfoot, you wish you see it again. Alright, well, so, like I said, I don't good, recommend uh, you doing this to your own hair, but it is pretty cool when you can. You don't recommend it? What are you doing on video then? Well, I'm a professional. I'm a licensed professional, so Just I can't. I like to be hard. Hard critic. No, actually, I, we, I appreciate you really doing it because it's good to learn anything in life. See, I have my Anything, weave. yeah. Let anything me explain to, to you why I'm doing a diagonal. Let me explain to you why I'm doing a diagonal section like this what? because you don't see the lines when my hair lays down mm -hmm. you're not going to know where those partings cool. were taken from that's pretty good it's like an art yeah. it is an art yes it and it's very all funny. joking I aside I, I like to learn a little of everything people say you're crazy for doing that why don't you just go to a hairdresser well you know when this week comes no what if someone just oh go ahead when this week comes i uh yeah. i have a lot of other things i need yeah. to get done and for me to spend the time to sit in the salon when I can kind of mm -hmm. get it done myself would be kind of silly. Now, you know? don't laugh, but I did read somewhere, and I'm not going to say where it was, but uh, the lady used Clorox and oh, bleach, do and she she uh, wrapped it, and it came out like a zebra. No, it won't come out like a zebra. It'll come out all together. You'll be bald. Don't ever, please... Again, I am not endorsing anyone to do their own hair at home. I'm just showing. No, I really what read I that. Do. Don't don't laugh. That was. Don't, yeah, I'm not saying to do that. But that's what I read. Out. So that's a perfect example for not knowing what you're doing. Don't do it. it yeah, don't ever. This is just an idea. Anything that is not meant for the hair. If you, you're right. This is good because right. say you want to get this style done and you you know where you go. The girl's doing this style. You know it's done right because you're going to mm -hmm. see the final product of this. And if you don't like it, you're going to say, "Wow, I definitely don't want that." procedure done because it's like it's like health there's so many ways to do different health it's like if you had a barbecue at your house and you invited even me there's 10 ways to get there just like this there's 10 ways to do hair mm -hmm. but there's the right way and the wrong way exactly and there's always i can't say the better way but maybe the more um achieved way see right you got a lot you got a couple clients now here are you ready what are you getting done what are you getting a straightener. Are you on the show? See, so it's She's cool because right now I'm steaming my rice. So as my rice steams, I can, you know, like the old saying goes, uh, two tasks at once kill two birds with one stone. Yeah, I'll go Although check I don't agree with you. doing that, but. <laughs> How's the rice? Let's see what's going on over here. Let's see. Oh, that's coming along. Steaming it, see? Brown rice takes a long time to steam. And that's good because I need kind of a, a little bit of How time here. What, what you are you doing? doing getting done? No, no, you have to wait. <laughs> wait your turn. Go, You're next. Go sit down. See, Marlo got done the other day. There's a good um, show coming on. Um, it's oh, cocktail hour. Non alcohol like or whatever and you the want. The fun thing is, it's also Halloween time coming up, so now it's even more fun. What's that? With the movies. You're on raw oatmeal with protein powder? 
Wow, that's amazing. Where are you learning all these tricks? Oh, you're not saying. Just winking. Okay. And you've seen already in that short amount of time, I have a lot of my head covered. Because what I do is, I get my hair completely highlighted. Of course, I let someone else do that uh, when I do do the whole head. But in between, I could touch up a good portion of my own. And uh, that holds me over for a while when I can do it myself. And I have to be very delicate because I want to try to get as close to the roots as I can without making the hair bleed. So I have to be very delicate when applying the lightener. Very delicate. And uh, actually, when I first started to do hair, I uh, this was one of the first things that I wanted to really learn how to do because they didn't spend much time when I was in beauty school on foils and things like that. Uh, it was more the frosting cap. So I really was afraid to do it on a lot of customers when they came in. So I told myself, if I don't do this, I'm not going to lose money. I'm going to lose a lot of money. So Sorry, sir. No. I forced myself to, to learn, and I learned No, No buzz cuts today. I'm sorry. You have someone at the door. All right. No buzz cuts, sir. You have an appointment. There's no appointments at the salon. I'm sorry. What's that? What's your name? Mr. Blue? Is your name Blue? Why didn't so, you say? Give us five minutes. So I'm going to finish the rest. Sorry. And as I finish the rest, I'll come back and... I'll show you how the foils are all placed in. Well, thank you very much for, not even if you're going into a figure contest or a bikini contest, mm -hmm. it's just good to know what you what you want. So when you see the finished product here, you're gonna say, oh right. my God. It looks like a big mess now, but it looks great when it's done. If it looks like Elvira, then maybe you, have you don't to want make a mess. It. If, you know, you have to if it looks a like a, sp a bowl of spaghetti, well, then you're gonna say, hey, I'll pass. Mm -hmm. But if it looks like something you like, I can't even compare spaghetti to something good. But uh, then you go with it. Yeah, you have to make a mess to make art. Well, sometimes. I'll see you later. We have a customer here. Oh, he's getting unruly. Okay, we're gonna get back to uh, Lana in a minute. We gotta give this buzz cut. Hi everyone, we're back with Lana. It's not the final result, but it's the next stage. Next stage. I even helped out. He did. Actually, Marlo's a very quick learner because he got some hands-on training. I showed him how to do it twice, and he foiled the whole back of my so hair all for foiled me. up. Now, how long do you keep that in for now? Well, um, you know, maximum time, of course, with the lightener would be about an hour, but mine will probably be about 15, 20 minutes. Um, but I have to keep looking, and, you know, when I see that it's light enough, that's when it's done. Like, these pieces here are done. See how blonde right there? Mm -hmm. So my top will catch up in just a few minutes and then everything gets washed off and... Ready voila. to go. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, stick around for the final result. See you in a little while. No. Come back. You're ready now. You again? 